you beat the ass, right? Yeah. So at least you see, like, okay, you know, the culture is spreading. And, like, even for us, we've seen it early to where it's like, you got to respect what they're doing. you got to respect what's happening here. Yeah. They're making waves. This is a splash. Like, this this is a vibe, and people may catch on it a little bit later, you know? That's true. So is this going to be another one of the cool kids thing, the nerds, where it's just like 10 years later, it's going to be like, oh, yeah, K-pop is what's up, but everybody going to keep getting picked on until then or what, man? Like, it could, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens there. And the reason why I say that is because everybody's making crossover music, right? Yeah. 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 So what's going to happen as everybody crosses over? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, we might see Itsy with 2 chains. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Yeah. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, uh, what, what, that was show, show, show New, right? Yeah. Show New from my ex. <laughs> uh, uh, 2 chains On his birthday. And, uh, and, <laughs> and Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. And, he, and what was he saying? All I want for my birthday I is birthday. a big booty up. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, hey. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I say that, and I say that kind of slightly joking, but it could happen though. Like Jesse was out there before COVID; she yeah. had met up with Two Chains. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the artists, like you know, Wale, it's like, man, I've been trying to get in studio with RM since the first time. What you yeah. know? Uh, oh, I think Toby Lou said he was trying to get back in with oh, Seventeen. To- yeah, Toby Lou, he got a joint. So, I found out he had a joint with Panamico. Oh, he does. Yeah, I'm just like yo, Toby. But, 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 Toby oh, but when you listen to Toby Lou, he, he he name drops K-pop a lot. In oh yeah, mind. yeah, that's yeah. But Toby's on a different way. So wave, yeah. it's I don't know what's gonna happen. It's it's really interesting. Well, I think you know, unfortunately, the pandemic messed up a lot because when we start going to concerts, it set everything back. That's, yeah, that's well, yeah, it yeah, set everything kinda... back. But like, you know, when we were going out, Atlanta was popping up regularly. There's a lot that we missed. Yeah, it was that a lot one of, go PLT, PLT, straight kids. PLT, oh, straight kids. Uh, <laughs> but oh, um, I think, I mean, that's going to get people to notice about it. I mean, <laughs> they may talk about it when we was at the Everglow concert. When people see people like us standing in line, oh, you going to that Everglow concert? Y'all, yeah, the two and, blacks. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> it was like y'all here for Everglow. I think. That is and then they tag his, his friend like yo they here for the Everglow concert <laughs> like that's the whole thing right like they trying to almost like they trying to embarrass you in a sense you know what I'm saying yeah. like bro ain't no shame in my game I bought tickets motherfucker I'm but that but Everglow. him Rockwell. doing him doing that is gonna make him yes. curious to the fact yeah. like why are these dudes going to check out K-pop you know I'm pretty sure one of them if they would have showed up and they would have saw let's say Everglow performing first mm-hmm. they would be like yeah bye. yeah. <laughs> Especially, she was pretty hard, man. Yeah, it, it, it's different, man. I, I mean, I get it's it's uh, it's a different culture, like I said, it's different for people. But uh, I think we need to move away from that, man, because there's a lot of things. Like it's 2021. Yeah, rock out. You gotta, you gotta, gotta get with the program. If, if you're black and listen to K-pop, okay, who cares? Yeah. That's how I feel about it. I mean, you got two cultures kind of now through music kind of finding ways to kind of blend together where it's like mm-hmm. in the past I never would even think about um, looking into that um, into their culture now it's like hey, I want to go visit you know I want to mm-hmm. learn more you know uh, try to learn the language as well you know so I think it's a really positive thing like my, I would love to see the cultures kind of like you said interact more do more music together and just kind of like because we're all fans of each other we're all fans mm-hmm. of art you know mm-hmm. and, and the stuff they're doing I think what got me originally was a music video production. Yeah, it reminds you of how hip hop and R and B videos used to be. Crazy. Yeah. And not not just that they take it they took it a step further. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the over the top. Yeah. Produ- and don't get me wrong, technology is way better nowadays. Oh, where yeah. they can the bus around. Where they can have a whole crazy set. Back then it was all costumes. You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I I mean look at the end of the day. I just think if people can just be accepting of what other people are listening to uh, and not just putting that stigma like, oh, you black, you ain't supposed to listen to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if that if that can just chill out, everything will be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about riding to work and you, you blasting some alcohol-free and you blasting <laughs> SOS. Like, I was blasting SOS 
and and just sitting there now in my head, and then I just see the white lady <laughs> next to me kind of just look over. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say anything. I was wondering if anybody ever got those feelings. <laughs> because in the morning, I'm going to turn the AC on. I got the windows me slightly too, cracked. Me too. And she just kind of looked over. And she just looked for a minute and just looked back straight. And it's just like, I was just like, I feel like I feel some judgment. You know what I'm saying? For the longest, I was bumping Changmo Band. And you know how hard that song go. So, <laughs> I would get so many turn of hands, like, because they'll hear the bass, that boom, yeah. boom, boom. And then they'd be like, yo, what is he listening to? And then when they look, they just, what? Yeah. But it's just like, I, don't, I know, I find joy in that. <laughs> you know, the, the turning head thing, because it's just like, yeah, what's up? You know, what? It's music. That's your heart, right, bro? <laughs> 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 but uh, it, it's funny, man. It's funny. Yeah, now some of those, some of those I can't vote for. You know what I'm saying? L- loud. But, you know, I, I, I'll do it with the windows up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so I'll do it with the windows up. You know, so that weekly. I don't know if I can play with the windows down. I live on the west side. I don't know why I bring it in my car. You know? <laughs> hey, I, I will blast weekly. I will blast weekly. I, I, in general, I don't really blast music with the uh, when I come to a stoplight. I only blast music when I'm driving. It's just a thing I do for yeah. just to avoid police officers. Yeah, same here. Same so, here. so if I come to a light, I turn it down, and yeah. then as the light turns green, I turn it back up. Because if I'm moving, you know, it's, it's harder for them to mess with you as opposed yeah. to if you're stationary. But, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. but yeah, man, you you know, I I, I I listen to a lot of j- different different music. I, I switch it up. I don't listen to the same thing. Some days I wake up and I'm just like, bro, I want to hear Imagine Dragons. Yeah. So I listen to Imagine Dragons. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, yo, I want to hear some KRS-One. I want to hear some Razz-Cats. I want to hear some After School from Weekly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, I want- would, you would think that by now you would get to the point where uh, the African-American, black person, any person of color... Stop. Is well versed in a lot of type of genres, especially oh, yeah, in twenty twenty one. So to yeah. hear, you know, statements like that being said against you, it's just kind of like, yo, we not in that world no more, man. No. Like I, I feel like we should be so much more open to different genres, cultures, and all that without being uh, uh, getting into the, the the weird look yeah. and all like that. But um. It's, it'll get to a point where it'll be really laughable. Mm-hmm. Especially when you see it in the comments. Like, I remember seeing the comments on one of our videos. I forgot which one, but they were just like, man, y'all some clowns. And it's just <laughs> like, all right. Whatever you want to say, man, it's all good. <laughs> she want to be part of the video. <laughs> I don't really know what else to add to it, though. You know? What would you, uh, if you wanted to uh, respond to any said person about your um, excitement for the twice alcohol-free, what would you respond to? I listen to whatever I want to listen to. Mm-hmm. I'm a grown-ass man. Okay. All right, I can listen to twice. Mm-hmm. I can listen to Britney Spears. Oh, I was listening to album Bree Spears a few days ago. I well, I, let me take that back. I, I, won't, I won't listen to Britney Spears. Really off, but... I'm not a fan of Britney Spears. I'm a, I'm a fan of Christina. Though. Okay. I, I fuck with Christina. I fuck with Pink. Mm-hmm. I, I mess with Pink more than both of them mm-hmm. put together. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, I'll listen to Mace. I'll listen to Lupe Fiasco. I'll listen to Griselda. I I listen to whatever I feel like listening to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It's not to slight anybody. It's not to disrespect anybody. My whole thing is just to... It's music, right? We're supposed to be enjoyed. We're supposed to enjoy it. It evokes a feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I felt like good music helps people live a good life dealing with the BS they got to deal with day to day. Oh, yeah. Facts. Yeah. yeah. I want to say for me, my, my dad was listening to rock music um, when everybody else was listening to... I forgot what the genre he, he's way older than me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, just like, just like even myself, like I couldn't listen to rap until I was like, what, ten years old. Like, so a lot of old school. I had to listen to a lot of jazz, 
I had a techno phase. Don't blame me. Oh, you I feel that? you on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Dance Dance Revolution, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Dance I was the same, in the same boat. You know, I couldn't listen to everything. So most of the music that I got exposed to was from video games, anime, all that stuff, movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All that. So it's just like, this isn't just the new thing that all of a sudden I like. No. I've been well-versed in different types of music. And cultures and all that, so it's all just came together with K-pop. Just right. think about it, though. You were in some K-pop before you knew you were in the K-pop. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's like you know, yeah. if you if you say I don't like techno, you like the Mortal Kombat theme song. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, I don't like I don't like K-pop. Nah, I do. Like I didn't know that Gundam Style was considered K-pop. Mm-hmm. But when the song came out, oh, fire. you could ask 10 AP. I love, I love that record. And she, was, <laughs> and she was just annoyed that they played it so much. Because that's when she used to listen to the radio. Yeah. And they would play it. And I remember I purchased it and I gifted her the song. And when she opened what? it, what? she was just <laughs> oh, man. She was so mad. She was just like, out of all the things in the world you can gift me, you gift me Gundam Style. Oh, man. It was already set in stone I right there. Like, yo, yeah. I was like, yo, this joint is fire. Like, but I didn't know it was K-pop. So, like, after that exposure to the song, yeah. it kind of just went away. Right, right. Because it's like, I just, I just thought it was just pop music. To yeah. me, pop music is popular music. Songs that are popular, regardless. So, you know, it's just K in front of it. It, it was popular music when I heard it. Yeah. As soon as I heard Gundam Style, I was like, yo, this is it. This yeah. is the joint. Yep. But, yeah, you know, and come to now, you know, oh, I don't like hip-hop. You don't like Juicy. <laughs> you don't like um, Rosa Parks or Miss Jackson. Nah. You don't like Keep Your Head Up. You like something. You something you like. Something. Yeah. You know, oh, I don't like rock and roll. You don't like Walk This Way. You you don't like Bohemian Rhapsody. But you, see, you don't like We Will Rock You. A lot of people don't know. They they like them songs. They just don't admit it. You so know? it's just like, you like yeah. something. You, you like just something. Don't know yet. You just don't know. Yeah. And, that, and that's the big thing about communities, right? Mm-hmm. So like, you know, like at my techno, my introduction to techno is through my friends, right? It's like you gotta listen to this, that harder, faster, stronger, whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this this thing go, <laughs> this thing go, right? And then they like, oh, you like this, you gotta listen to this, this and that. So it kind of you know helps push you into a culture if you have you know people in that community. But if you're like completely detached, mm-hmm. there's no way you will feel any you know any like energy to kind of learn more about it because nobody around you is doing it. So what's the point of you doing? You know, so I think for us it was like you know build a community, and then we start diving, we start digging. And it's like yo, this is actually fine, this and that's is- how people grow together. Yeah, yeah by, um, by ex- experiencing other people's cultures and everything like that. Oh, for you know sure. What I'm and I think that's what's so dope about what we've done here at TRC is the fact that you know a lot of people say like yo, I wouldn't check this out if it wasn't for your channel. Mm-hmm. You know, all the stuff that you built, the community, and everything like that. And that's the beauty around music itself. That's what music yeah. was based off of, you mm-hmm. know, sharing it and everything like yep. that. So it's I a mean, good feeling when you when you hear something that's dope and you can tell other people like, "Yo, yeah. like to check it." <laughs> and I think that's what's starting. Or well, 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 it's already been there, but I feel like that's starting to shift, where you're seeing a lot of more people of color, like. K-pop and all this other stuff and it's yes, just like it, nobody's turned a blind eye to it no more mm-hmm. so it's starting to change man we we, we hit it before <laughs> everything oh, yeah. is starting you know yeah. so can't nobody <laughs> say that you don't like twice alcohol no, heck no <laughs> nobody can't say that man so, so what do you think I get all them albums and the pillows and all, all, this, all <laughs> that that's, little pillow. all that's cap right that's cap it's all cap. It's all cap. Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it is like, what it is. Yeah, right. Like, and, and it's just like, I don't feel like I should have to explain myself. But at the same time, like, if, first of all, we record so much content, right? Yeah. Because we record everything we record, and then we record a whole bunch of stuff for, for Patreon. There's multiple stuff, multiple videos that we never record ourselves watching. Like me and 1080p sitting here, and I sometimes I'll just be like, "Look, I check this out. You gotta watch it." Like this morning, I, I showed her. Uh, 
it was twice in Botata. I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, but basically, it's like a 30-minute show. Now, don't get me wrong. I did record a reaction to this. <laughs> it just ain't out yet. Uh, but uh, they were doing a game where they have headphones on. And so one of them sees what the word is. Yeah. She has to turn to somebody in headphones and tell them what it said. Mm -hmm. But they can't hear her. They're listening to Twice music. They have to read her lips. Oh, that's kind of And then she has to turn around and tell it to somebody else that's wearing headphones. And I was just like, yo, this is so dope. What you're trying to, what you're basically saying is just like, we do watch the stuff other than what we react yeah, to. So, yes. Yeah, it's it's I like think that kind of stigma it. out there that we just yeah. doing this for YouTube. Yeah. And yeah. we yeah. don't we actually, actually listen to it outside mm -hmm. of work. So to speak. I will say, out of all them albums I have, I've never inserted one of those discs into anything. I mean, but that's not why I buy K-pop albums. Yeah, yeah, because not. for that, I can just use my Apple Music subscription. Everything that y'all have is on Apple Music. I, I feel you with that because I remember uh, when we first went to Super M, and somebody in my job was like, "Oh, you for real about this?" Oh, <laughs> you know, and I'm like. Yeah. What, what you mean? Oh, you really like the music? You going out to see these guys perform? I'm like, yeah, why not? No, it was Blackpink. No, it was Blackpink. That's what it was. Okay, yeah. We went that's to see different. Blackpink. Yeah. And they're like, you really going? I'm like, yeah, why not? I want to see what it's like. I, we've been doing these videos. I actually want to experience and see if it is really legit. You know? I yeah. want to see the feel. Experience. And... The rest is history. Y'all seen the vlogs and everything. I never forget just Bang Bang being overwhelmed <laughs> when he saw, like when he got in that concert and he heard how loud yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because Bang Bang's eyes was yeah. just like, "This is a lot." <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's cool because like, in me and Ten Eighty P have had conversations. It's like. If Itsy comes, now she's got to go. Oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> when Stray Kids comes, yeah. now she has to go. Oh. <laughs> if Twice comes, now she has to go. Yeah, yeah. So now, now she's at the point where she's like, you know what, I think I'm going to have to start going to these, these concerts. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to be on camera with y'all. <laughs> I, I can be behind the scenes. <laughs> I, can, I can be your be <laughs> but she, But she wants to be there because it's right. just like seeing all of the live, you know, the live performances we've checked out yeah. and you know, she just, she, from watching all the stuff we watch, she sees how hard they go mm -hmm. and how yeah. hard they work at it. And it's just like, mm -hmm. wow. Because she watched the Twice show with us. She watched the Blackpink show. She just, I mean, she slept through part of the Blackpink show. She was tired. It was like three in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. either way, she was impressed. Yeah. Where she's just like, I got to go next time. Yeah. Sport. Yeah. So I think if some people just, you know, Get into what they like. Pay attention to what they don't like. Everything will be cool. I mean, it's a it's variety. It's not yeah. like you gotta listen to, you know, all the cutesy stuff and all that stuff. <laughs> there is a lane for everybody in mm -hmm. K-pop. Oh, like, yeah. how, how how can you play crush for somebody and and they just be like, Nah, bro. Nah, bro you, you've crush. listened to Genuine before. <laughs> I'm about to say that. Crush. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll be I in the mean, shower singing that joint. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, man. Yeah. He talk, he's singing about feeling on that ass. That's how I was like. I, little, I was just like, yo, Crush, I know what out. you've been listening to. <laughs> <laughs> Let him rock out, man. Yeah, and, like, man. and like even the the uh, the K-Rap and K-R&B scene, like at least the, I wouldn't call it, I guess you call it the underground. Mm -hmm. You know, like the song I bump. You know, I'm on a boat. You I'm know? on a boat. <laughs> But you know, there's a whole uh, dope underground scene. Like, yeah. this, it's just so many like layers and levels, and it's, I feel like it's been expanding quickly. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's like seeing hip hop. It's like seeing you know, because we've seen hip hop grow, but mm -hmm. it was a long path. Yeah. But they're going through stages a lot quicker in the K-pop space. I would uh, say that. I, I think really. it's happening in almost the same amount of. I think it's happening in almost the same. What, and think like the time frame of it? Yeah, like the stuff that we saw hip hop go through or seeing K pop go through similar. Like the rise in popularity, mm. the evolution in styles and sounds. Maybe within the last couple of years is mm. it's taken like the world by storm a little well, bit. Social media. So like yeah, now yeah that's, a, yeah, that's a big thing. Having artists 
that you see now they're diving into acting, producing, mm-hmm. having their own labels so early on in yeah, their careers. You see Minnie's on a Netflix show? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Minnie, Minnie from Idol. She's on a Netflix show. Nice. You got to think. And this guy is, I mean, they, the, the commercial I watched, or the trailer I watched had American subtitles on it. And I was just like, I think I'd rather watch it with the Korean. Oh, you mean the voiceover? They hear yeah. the English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to watch, you got to yeah. watch stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to have to check it out. It's a whole season. Okay. And I was just like, oh, snap. Minnie is on a show. I didn't know she was into acting whatsoever. <laughs> but just that aspect, like, and now artists and art, they're writing for themselves. Years ago, artists wasn't really writing for themselves like mm-hmm. that, you know? More independent labels are, are starting to spring up. So you're starting to see more of a shift um, in the culture. It, to me, it's very interesting to see just the growth um, in this era, in this type of era. And, like, another thing I'm, I was afraid of was, like, We've been through the whole Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys and their era of pop. And I, I would say it kind of was at its peak and then it kind of went away, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so I wonder with the K-pop and everything like that, like I want them to find ways to keep that thing going and not just disappear like like that whole Backstreet sound and stuff like that. But I don't know, it's just something interesting. Yeah. I think they may have just gotten too big for what they were trying to accomplish, Backstreet Boys and insane because Justin wanted to leave and you know no I think you're right though yeah so any last words for them people out there that um for them haters them haters (laughs) out there you know (laughs) that want to talk about uh these three black guys who like K-pop hey once for life I I mean that's really it look and tell them look look, look at look at my wall (laughs) My wall tells you everything you need to know. The receipts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And and for people who are like, oh, there's no hip-hop albums out there. Look, people that know me know I used to collect hip-hop albums. I want to say, yeah. I had, but yeah, I had crates. <laughs> and before we moved to Georgia, I had to get rid of them mm-hmm. because we had no room on the truck. Mm-hmm. And it sucked but I had to get rid of my whole collection. I had pretty much everything. Dang. It was unorganized, and I could tell you exactly where something was at. I had like every Bone album, every Mace, every P. Diddy. I can't say every Tupac, but so if somebody saying? had an album, I would buy it just because I needed to say I had all of it. I had all <laughs> Queen Pin's albums. Queen Pin. So what you're saying, this is just she the beginning. Albums? I'm just saying, like, just I, I love music yeah. yeah, in general, and I like to support the people I like to support. Some people that I don't feel like need to support because they already have a huge fan base, which is cool. Yeah. You know, I don't feel like I need to go out and buy every BTS album uh, just because they're going to sell a million plus <laughs> albums anyway. But I feel like I need to go and get, like, an Everglow, Everglow. album, yeah. uh, a Mama Moo album. I feel like I got to go get that Wu album. You cool. Know? I, I don't want to hear. I don't want to turn around and hear all that disbanded because people weren't supporting. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do what I do. Um, everybody else do what they do, and I just don't think people should call. Hey man, is it real? Like, bro, you, you, you know me. You think I'm joking? It's not real, man. It's not real. <laughs> mm. We don't like this stuff. Apparently, right. Apparently. <laughs>